Before science ever gave it a name, ancient monks already understood something extraordinary. They practiced a night breath ritual to slow the body's decay, a sacred rhythm that seemed to pause time itself. For centuries they passed it down, teacher to student, believing it could preserve vitality deep into old age. Today, modern science has finally caught up with what they knew all along. In 2016, a Japanese biologist won the Nobel Prize in Medicine for discovering the same mechanisms those monks were unknowingly activating. It's called autophagy, your body's built-in system for cellular repair and renewal. Every night when you sleep, your cells are supposed to clean themselves, breaking down damaged proteins and removing waste. But for most people, that process is barely running at 30% capacity. When your cellular cleanup slows down, the damage doesn't stop accumulating. It builds. Old proteins, toxins, and cellular fragments begin to pile up inside you, creating a kind of microscopic pollution. This overload accelerates aging because your cells are collecting damage faster than your body can repair it. The debris that isn't cleared creates oxidative stress, like rust forming inside your cells, and it weakens your mitochondria, the engines that give you energy. When those engines slow down, you wake up groggy, your muscles feel heavy, and your mind dulls before the day even begins. Over time, this imbalance becomes a silent burden that pushes your body toward faster decay. But what if that could change? What if your sleep could become your most powerful anti-aging tool? Not just rest, but regeneration. Tonight, you'll discover how to turn on the same biological switch those monks mastered long before modern medicine existed. Tonight, you activate it. Before we begin, comment below and tell me, do you often struggle to fall asleep at night? Yes or no? In 2016, Japanese cell biologist Yoshinori Osumi received the Nobel Prize in Medicine for uncovering one of the body's most remarkable secrets, the mechanisms of a process called autophagy. Think of autophagy as your body's built-in housekeeping system. Every night while you sleep, your cells are supposed to clean themselves breaking down old or damaged parts and recycling them into new, healthy material. It's the same as taking out the trash before it piles up, except it happens inside every cell in your body. This is how your tissues renew themselves, how your energy stays steady, and how your body slows down the clock of aging. But here's what most people don't realize. Autophagy doesn't just happen automatically. It must be triggered and one of the most powerful triggers is your parasympathetic nervous system, what scientists call your body's rest and repair mode. When this system is activated, every nerve signal and chemical messenger throughout your body tells your cells the same thing. It's time to clean house. Your heart rate slows, stress hormones drop, and deep inside your tissues, your cells begin their renewal work. This connection between your breath and your cells is real and measurable. Breathing techniques that stimulate the parasympathetic response have been shown to increase the efficiency of cellular cleanup by two to three times, a result confirmed in sleep lab studies where researchers track changes in cellular metabolism during rest. The timing of this process matters too. Autophagy reaches its peak during the deepest stages of sleep, typically around 90 minutes after you drift off, and then again in each deep sleep cycle that follows. That means the quality of your sleep not just the quantity, determines how well your body rejuvenates. Ancient monks somehow understood this long before neuroscience existed. They called it cleaning the subtle body and referred to the rhythm of breath as the breath that stops time. Modern science now gives us the tools to understand what they felt, the precise biological mechanism that allows breath to guide the body into cellular repair. The secret isn't in sleeping longer, it's in learning how to send that signal before you fall asleep. Now let's turn this science into something you can actually do tonight. The technique is called the 448 breath, and it's incredibly simple but deeply powerful. It's not about forcing your body to relax, it's about guiding it gently back into the state it was designed for, the state of deep rest and repair. Think of it as giving your body permission to heal. Begin once you're already in bed, lights off, your pillow comfortable, your body supported. This is your signal to the nervous system that the day is over. Take a moment to settle in, then close your eyes and simply notice your natural breathing. Feel the rise and fall of your chest, the cool air coming in through your nose, the warm air leaving through your mouth. 
Do this for about 30 seconds. You're not changing anything yet, you're just observing. That awareness alone begins to slow your heart rate and quiet your thoughts. Now we begin the pattern. Inhale gently through your nose for a count of four. One, two, three, four. Feel your belly expand and your chest rise. Hold that breath for another four counts. One, two, three, four. Notice the stillness. The pause between breaths where your body feels suspended and calm. Then exhale slowly through your mouth for eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feeling the air leave your lungs, the tension melting from your shoulders, your jaw, your chest. That long exhale is the key. It activates the vagus nerve and tells your body it's safe to let go. Let's do it again. Inhale through your nose for four. One, two, three, four. Hold for four. One, two, three, four. And exhale through your mouth for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each time you repeat the cycle, your heart rate steadies, your breathing deepens, and your mind softens. Here's what makes this technique different from any other breathing practice you've tried. It's the ratio itself, one to one to two. Breathing in for four, holding for four, and breathing out for eight is not random. It's a precise pattern that maximizes parasympathetic activation, the signal that switches your body into full repair mode. When researchers measure it, they see clear physiological changes. Heart rate variability increases, showing that your body has shifted into balance. Cortisol, the main stress hormone, drops. Blood pressure eases down, and your entire system begins to synchronize with that calm rhythm. The long exhale is what makes it work. It tells the vagus nerve, the messenger between your brain and your organs, to slow everything down and begin deep restoration. Keep this rhythm going at your own pace, slow and natural, for five to seven minutes, about 15 to 20 full cycles. If your breath feels shorter or longer, that's okay. The rhythm matters more than perfection. Scientists have found that this exact one-to-one-to-two -one -to -two ratio creates the strongest parasympathetic response in the body. It's the ratio that opens the door to deep repair while you sleep. After your final round, stop counting and let your body return to its natural breath. Notice how still everything feels, how your body feels heavier, calmer, quieter. Within two to five minutes, sleep will come naturally. If eight counts feels too long in the beginning, start with six and build up slowly. The key is consistency, not intensity. Five minutes every night is far more powerful than 15 minutes once a week. Before you begin each night, set a simple intention. Whisper to yourself, tonight my cells will clean and repair themselves completely. This is more than a thought, it's a signal to your nervous system. Neuroscientists call it psychophysiological priming the way your mind can activate real biological change. The monks called it the breath that stops time, the act of cleaning the subtle body. For them, it was a spiritual ritual. For you, it can become a nightly medicine. Tonight, you don't just fall asleep, you begin to heal. Here's what you can expect when you begin this practice. During the first few nights, something subtle but powerful begins to unfold. You'll notice you fall asleep faster, often within five minutes instead of 15 or 30. Your body sinks deeper into rest, and you may wake up in the same position you fell asleep in, a clear sign that your body stayed in deep sleep longer than usual. By the end of the first week, mornings feel different. That heavy brain fog that used to take an hour to clear begins to lift within minutes. You open your eyes and actually feel awake. Your thoughts organize more quickly, your focus sharpens, and your energy feels steady instead of sluggish. By the second and third weeks, the transformation becomes visible. Your skin takes on a smoother, more vibrant tone. Your eyes appear brighter, clearer. That dull tiredness that once showed in your face starts to fade. These are the quiet, physical signs of autophagy at work, proof that old, damaged cells are being replaced with new healthy ones. Inside your body, inflammation decreases, and your energy stays consistent throughout the day. Your mental clarity now lasts well into the evening. By the second month, the effects don't just add up, they compound, your body begins to operate with a kind of quiet efficiency. Each system communicates more clearly with the next. Sleep researchers have documented measurable improvements in mitochondrial function, the tiny engines inside your cells that produce energy. 
When those engines run cleaner, your endurance, metabolism, and recovery all improve. Inflammation markers drop even further, and your body begins to show biological signs associated with longevity. These are the changes that take time, but they are happening beneath the surface, night after night. You might not see every shift in the mirror, but your cells know. Because you're entering sleep with your parasympathetic system fully activated, those deep sleep cycles last longer and run more efficiently. This isn't magic, it's measurable biology. The same cells that once carried fatigue, inflammation, and tension are now rebuilding you from within, repairing your energy source, and extending your body's natural rhythm of life. If you haven't started yet, tonight is the night. Commit to this small ritual for just a few minutes before bed and watch how your body begins to respond. Comment day one below right now and take that first step. Tomorrow, come back and share what you noticed. Did you sleep deeper, wake up clearer, or feel more alive? This practice may look simple, but the science behind it is profound. Your body already knows how to heal. This breath simply reminds it how. When you wake up after a night of deep repair, your body has already done something extraordinary. While you were sleeping, your cells were cleaning, repairing, and rebuilding you from within. Now the way you start your morning will decide whether that healing continues or fades. Most people rush into the day the moment they open their eyes. They reach for their phone, their thoughts start racing, and just like that, the body shifts out of its repair mode. But not you. Tomorrow morning, try something different. Before you even sit up, stay still for a moment. Feel the quiet in your chest, the rhythm of your heart. Then take three slow cycles of the same 4-4-8 four, four, breath. Inhale gently through your nose for four. One, two, three, four. Hold for four. One, two, three, four. And exhale softly through your mouth for eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do this three times before you rise. That simple choice tells your nervous system, we are still safe, we are still healing. As you sit up, let your movements stay slow. Open the curtains, let natural light touch your eyes, and drink a glass of warm water. These small actions carry the same signal through your entire body, calm energy instead of rush. Science has shown that extending your parasympathetic state into the first hour of your morning has powerful physiological effects. It keeps inflammation levels lower, stabilizes your heart rhythm, and improves concentration for several hours afterward. This gentle beginning helps your body maintain the chemistry of healing even as you move into your day. It's how you teach your cells consistency, how you remind your nervous system that calm is your new baseline. Healing isn't something that ends when you wake up. It's something you carry into every moment that follows. Tomorrow, notice how you feel when you move through your morning without hurry, when you start with breath instead of noise. Then come back and share what you noticed in the comments, and if this is your first night, comment day one below. Research shows that when you make a public commitment, you're 65% more likely to follow through. So make your promise tonight, start your practice, and let your body prove what it's capable of. The monks were right. Modern science just explained why. For centuries, they trusted what they could feel, the stillness that came when the body and mind moved together, and now we can measure exactly what they sensed. This simple breath, the 448 pattern, bridges ancient wisdom and modern biology. It's not mystical, it's measurable. It's your body's built-in repair system waiting for you to remember how to turn it on. Try this protocol tonight. Before you fall asleep, set your intention. Give yourself five to seven minutes of 448 breathing and nothing else. Feel the rhythm, inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for eight, and then notice how you feel when morning comes. Compare tomorrow to today. Comment day one below right now and make it real. Research shows that when you commit publicly, you are 65% more likely to follow through. So make tonight your beginning. Tomorrow, come back and share what you noticed. Did you sleep deeper? Wake up clearer? Feel more energy in your body? Your sleep will become restorative instead of just rest. The protocol is simple, the science is solid, and the ancient wisdom has finally been validated. This is not a miracle. It's biology working in your favor. Subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the ancient practices that modern science is now proving to be real.
And don't forget, tomorrow I'll reveal the manifestation breath that neuroscientists are studying, the method that connects conscious intention with the hidden power of your subconscious mind. Tonight, this is all you need. Tonight, you activate the breath of immortality. Your cells are waiting.